Yeah, so, um, Eva did an apology video, and, which is really sweet, like, uh, like, the way she resolved it was really sweet, and all the people that, um, commented, whether, like, it was nice to have your attention, whether it was, like, um, more, like, teaching me a let trying to, uh, discipline me teach me a lesson or to kind of like give me some support like i appreciate both angles like people just being available to to just make their opinions known and i i can uh, i can handle it like erica was saying um how she shouldn't have done it but for me it was interesting because uh, for me, it's okay. Like I, I don't mean I, I make videos, and I, I quite enjoy being in the public eye, somewhat. Like I, I still ha have insecurities about being exposed in different ways, exposing myself in different ways. But like, I guess for me, it, it was it was good because actually, it's quite what happened in that moment is like uh what erica's reaction video when erica was mad it was kind of like opened a trigger inside me which is like ingrained like i was talking about how my mum used to shout at me for like not keeping my room tidy and like that whole struggle with you know like maintenance and keeping everything clean and like and like you know, healthy, um, cleaning, like, when you, I was watching a video, it was about how, like, when you, like, the space, your, your house is a reflection of your, 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 your outer space is a reflection of your inner space, so if you don't tidy your outer space, you're going to be chaotic, and your inner space, and that's true, like, I mean, the alchemy was happening when I started clearing out Erica's room the day before she was coming. Like, I kind of was, like, really getting into it, getting into the flow, like, cleaning all the things and sweeping the floor and moving stuff about and washing the fridge, blah, blah, blah. And I was really getting into the flow of it, and I was, like... And it was really cathartic and just really, like, meditative. And, um... And yeah, I'd kind of put that on hold for a while. I, I off, like when I'm at, in Erica's, I tend to just like flop on her bed and just like flick through, watch random stuff on YouTube. That's the way I relax. Uh, but sometimes it kind of distracts me from, from getting practical stuff done, like going into the wormhole of the internet. And that's actually like I'm aware of that I'm more aware of that probably than than some people like I'm happy to just like get out of the house and leave my phone away but yeah um, yeah it was a trigger it was actually a trigger and I felt like it was a trigger that was close to home I have an issue with that whole thing about being clean cleanliness like keeping things tidy and stuff and like not being a slob and like I have a I don't know why but I struggle I guess I struggled with that a lot um and I guess a lot of people do struggle with that especially men I think I think men more than women because even if I even if I tidy stuff and and I can be quite um, methodical at tidying stuff I still for some reason I can never do it as well as like a mama. I was actually, um, it was nice when Gloria came round every, every week because she would just do her thing for like two hours. And like when she left the house, the house was just nice, just pleasant to be in. And, um, I was like, how the hell she, she do that? And I was meditating on the fact that like, I don't like, I don't want to seem 
uh, I don't want to be like, um, 